on this, on the right hand side, this one is called test diagram. Um, now we come to the interesting part of partial order. Um, there are two, two member of the set S that are of our interest maximum and minimum. Maximum means that it is, uh, we cannot find greater element than the maximum one. A is maximum if and only if there is no B that is greater than A. Okay. Um, on the other hand, the minimum elements mean that there is no lesser element. By greater or lesser, I mean the ordering on the relation, uh, on the partial order relation. Okay. If something is um, um, on the for example, if something is on uh, above uh, element 6, we call it this one six, 12 is greater than 6, greater in the sense of this ordering, okay, not on the value, okay, on the ordering. So maximum, nothing greater than the max, nothing greater than it. Minimum, nothing less than it. Uh, let me show you one example, maximum and minimum element. Um, okay, in this, in this example, uh, we have two maximum elements, 8 and 12, because nothing greater than it. 6 cannot be the maximum because 12, we can see, according to this structure, is on top of 6. So 12 is greater than 6. In this Example one is the minimum element because nothing less than less than one. That is maximum and minimum. That is those concepts must be uh, differentiated from these two different concepts, least and greatest element. Some element is called greatest if it is greater than all other elements. Okay, greatest means it's greater than all other elements. Least element means it's less than all other elements. Greater, lesser is means the order of the partial ordering. Okay. It's different for maximum and minimum. Uh, let me show you example. The same example again. In the same example, there is no greatest element because we cannot claim that 12 is the, the greatest because there is no relation, there is no order between 12 and 8. And by definition of greatest element, greatest element must be greater than all other elements. Okay, 12 is not greater than 8 because there is no order. So you can think of the greatest as the topmost element in your structure where you can go to any other elements okay. but in here you don't have such greatest element but you have the least element however which is one from one you can go to any other or, or other elements go up in, in upward direction this mean one is the less the least element go up mean greater go down mean lesser that is easy right? Uh, okay, so the, another difference between least greatest and maximum minimum is that the greatest and least element, if they are exist, will be unique. Okay, if exist, will be unique. We can have only one greatest element and one least element in any structure. This one, okay, one. If exist, have one element. Now we turn to something uh, even more interesting. Sometimes we don't want to consider the whole set S. Okay, we want to consider subset A of S, and we want to talk about greatest element or the least element with respect to the subset A. That is that result in a concept called upper bound and lower bound. So just like upper bound, lower bound, that you already know. Okay, up about something more than, if we take a subset A, 
we talk about upper bound it means you know this value is greater than all other value in A okay whereas the lower bound means you know it's lower than all other value every value in A so upper bound of A are, is the set of elements which are greater than A okay lower bound means lower bound of A means that the set of elements that are less than A Upper bound and lower bound, however, are not unique. Okay, they are not unique. Let me show you one example here. Okay, uh, let's consider <coughs> 8, 9, and 6. Here, 9 and 6. Um, the upper bound of 9 and 6 is 18, surely. Okay, in this case, we have only one. Um, the lower bound of 9 and 6, 3 and 1. Okay, three, uh, is l 3 is less than 9 and 6, 1 is also less than 9 and 6. So in this case they are not unique. But sometimes we may not have even have upper bound. Consider 24 and 16. Okay, there's no upper bound for these two, uh, this set. Okay. This, is, uh, this is the ordering, I think the division, okay, division for set 24. Since I told you in the last lecture that upper bound and lower bound, when they exist, they can have many values. We can have many upper bound and lower bound. For example, um, okay, 2, 4, 6, 12, which is 2, 4, 6, 12 here. We have many upper bound. 12 is also one upper bound of the set. 24 is another upper bound. So there are many upper bound. There can be many upper bound and many lower bounds. But we want to describe the most precise upper bound and the most precise lower bound. We can use this least upper bound and greatest lower bound. Okay. LUB, the least upper bound, it means the least of all upper bound of A. So among all upper bound, this is the least one. Whereas GLB, the greatest lower bound, it means the greatest of all lower bound of A. So, by this concept, we can describe um, the upper bound in a precise way. Okay, the, the, the upper bound that is close to the subset A, in other words. Okay, for example, we'll come back to this later on. 2, 4, 6, 12. As we said earlier on, there are two upper bound, 12 and 24. But the upper bound that is closest to the set is 12. This is the least upper bound, LUB, of this set. Whereas, whereas um, the greatest lower bound of 2, 4, 3, 12 is 2. If we consider the lower bound of 2, 4, 6, 12, there are many 1 and 2. Okay, we are interested in the greatest one. So the one which is closest to the set A from the top one and the below one as well. Okay, that is upper bound and LUB and GLB. LUB and GLB help us to characterize the set um, closely. Um, if we draw the hash diagram for subset, the post set which based on subset construction on the set which consists of ABC, we can see that the least upper bound actually corresponds to the union on the two set, whereas the greatest lower bound correspond to the intersection. Let's consider A, B and B, C set. These two set, we know that the least upper bound of A, B and B, C is this one, which is the union of the two set. Whereas the greatest lower bound is the intersection of the two set, which is B here. So this is very nice structure and nice correspondence between um, the structure and the operation. Okay. Okay, we have GLB, LUB, and so on. We come to the last 